Hello guys, today just an announcement for my new Blender add-on J-Curve Tools. So let's have a look, this is a Blender 3 project. I select the curve and the mesh and then I press create here in the J-Curve Tools panel. The default setting is that the mesh is fitting, the curve and this is the result. If you like to create a twisted cable, you can change the twist angle property. And of course you can attach as many meshes as you like. So go ahead, select the curve, and a new mesh and press again create. Then I can adjust the fit type for example and set it to fixed count and then change the offset like that. So this is the mesh assignment and you can do this for any curve also if it is beveled. This one has a bevel, you can adjust it here in the panel And then again I assign a mesh. Ok, what else? You can create curves from selected edges. For this mesh I select two edge loops and then I press the button from mesh. Before the curve is created you can define the depth of the bevel with this property. That's it, now you can convert it into a mesh Assign a material or add a multi-resolution modifier to use it for sculpting as you like. Ok, the last feature that I want to show is a curve creator tool. It is called the curve creation mode in which you can control click onto the mesh to add points and then I press control and the enter key to add a curve for which the handles are perpendicular to the faces that we clicked. Then I can select these handles and press the S key to scale the curve now I assign again a material and adjust the width of the bevel. So in my opinion this simplifies the process of curve creation a lot. New features will be added soon, for example physics for the curves. And as always you find the add-on here on my GitHub. The link is added to the description and to use it just go to this code button and select download zip that you can install then in the Blender preferences. You also find it on the Blender market and if you get it from there, I can give you special support and you support me and the Blender dev font. Again, the link can be found in the description below. Alright guys, as I said, this was just an announcement, but tutorials for this add-on will follow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any questions, then add these here to the comments. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, support the channel by becoming a member and I'll see you guys here on JNM.